Good morning. Welcome to build day 16. And we got Kaylee out here with us ready to do her job. She wants to help move the truck. Let's go move the truck. Huh? Come on. Let's go. Huh? There she goes. Now I can vlog without stepping on her. Uh, it's going on about 10 o'clock. Uh, last night, I got done in everything. It was going on about 11 o'clock. I popped a couple of Advil. Went to bed. I slept straight through the night. Didn't get up until about 8.30 this morning. And I am, because of the Advil, I normally don't like taking Advil at night. But I end up feeling groggy as all hell the next day. And right now, I'm feeling groggy as all hell. Uh, so I'm not sure how quick we're going to move. Uh, yesterday, we got the partitions in on the Pirate. I still need to go through and do my bracing. That needs to be skinned. And that's going to be for later. But we did start working over here on the chain hall. We got all the panels up to this point. Through here and to the entrance. And we got the entrance done. So we basically got all this done. And we also got all the bracing up for this area. Now I'm running in to a problem. I've got to get the mausoleum out and get it put up. I need to measure six feet from there down this way and then I have a wall, uh, one of the walls of the mausoleum and the mausoleum runs down the curb and I have a partition wall here that goes in that finishes off the chain hall. And I need to get it up so I can get the skins up. Once the skins are up, I can come through, do my wiring, do my roofing, and all that. And that's pretty much what we're going to be working on today. I do have a concern I did not think about when I was laying out the haunt. And that's this driveway section. When we get a windstorm through here, this driveway ends up being a breezeway. Most of the gusts and stuff just travel right down through here. Now the mausoleum that we're putting up is a new mausoleum. We used it for the first time last year. And when we had it in, it was over on the grass, butted up against the tent, the big tent, and we had the house blocking most of the wind. The only damage we took from the windstorms was the roof got ripped off a couple of times. And I had to go in and fix it. You can watch the set of vlogs from last year and see that footage. But with being out here, it's going to be freestanding. Uh, in other words, I have one little bit, little bitty partition wall that runs from here out to the mausoleum. That's it. I have nothing else anchoring that mausoleum down. It's just going to be freestanding. And my only concern is, is when we start getting those high winds coming down this driveway, it's going to hit that mausoleum. That whole thing's going to, it won't fall apart or tip over. It's going to want to slide down the driveway. Now, Sue Ann and I were talking in the house. My thinking is, is I've got to plywood the roof onto here. You know, for the whole chain hall gets plywooded uh, for a roof. I've also got to run bracing from these walls to the mausoleum. I'm hoping between the bracing running from the wall over to the mausoleum plus the plywood I'm going to put on there it will be enough to hold that mausoleum into place to keep it because it will literally slide from there down to this way. I'm hoping that will keep it from sliding. Also, so Ann and I were also thinking once I get the rafters onto the mausoleum I can uh, take some guidelines tied to the mausoleum and then stake it into the ground over here in the garden and that might help a little bit too. Uh, so we're going to give that a try. But I am a little nervous about putting the mausoleum up. Now, putting the mausoleum up, we're just going to put the basics in. Uh, basically the walls, uh, the arches, and the rafters. We're not going to put the roof on today or put the mini boxes, uh, urn boxes, in on it and do all that What type of wiring and stuff. We're just going to get the walls, the arches, and the rafters up. And then I can finish off this chain haul and I can work on the uh, rest of the mausoleum once I'm working on the graveyard. <laughs> so that will help speed up a little bit of the build time. 
uh, but anyway, we gotta get that mausoleum in. We need to get the panels, uh, the chain hole panels wired. We need to get the plywood on. That's our main focus for today. And the wiring is gonna take a while, and putting the mausoleum together is gonna take a while. If we could get all that done, we're gonna hop over here into the pirate. I got some bracing to do, and we gotta get it skinned as well. And if I have the energy, I might mow the backyard because I did not get the backyard mowed yesterday. Uh, breakfast of the day today. Hearty breakfast because we're going to need it. Pancakes, eggs, bacon, toast, uh, milk or coffee, orange juice. And we're going to do something different with the pancakes. We're going to do a lumberjack stack, which is about five or six pancakes. And as you put each pancake on the plate, get some peanut butter out, coat it down with peanut butter. Put another pancake, more peanut butter. More pa another pancake, more peanut butter. Until you get up to the top. And at the top, on the top one, you leave it bare and you slather it with hot maple syrup. <laughs> so for you peanut butter freaks, you're going to get your peanut butter fix. But uh, there we go. There's your breakfast of the day. I'm going to get to it. Me standing here running my mouth is not going to get the hump built. Uh, it took a while. But we got the mausoleum up. At least the frame of it. Just got done skinning these walls here. So I've got to get the arches, arches and their pillars and stuff in. I can't get those in unless I have the arches and the pillars in. So we've got that done. Uh, I am also thinking that I'm going to be plywooding the uh, top of the chain hall. I'm going to have a piece of plywood that runs out this way. I'm going to have to roof the uh, mausoleum as well. So I'm going to have to do that. So I still got the boxes, the pillars, the arches, and the roofing to do. Like I said, this is an all day job. Now I have the in here, in these holes, go some little boxes with a clear plexiglass front that I put urns in. Those will go in at a later date. I'm not worried about that. Right now I'm more worried about getting the maze done. And there's just certain steps I need to do. Now it's a little afternoon. I am going to go grab some lunch. And when we get back out here, we'll start getting the arch. All right, a little more progress since we shot earlier. I think I showed you those uh, arches. I'm not sure if I did or not. But we got in here. And we got skin. So the chain haul is finished with the skinning. Now, I've been working on, since I got those done, up here. You can see the top of the walls. All the way out. All of them are bundled like that one is. I've got them all done, except for that one along the tent, and this one. And Sue Ann's getting ready to call dinner. So, after dinner, I will come out, I will finish this wall, and that wall. And now I'm going to have to plug them in and test them, make sure all my connections work. Sometimes these uh, quick connects don't make a connection. And you have to go through and redo it multiple times. If you're lucky, you can plug it in, it'll just work. And that's the way it usually is. Every so often there's one that doesn't make connection. But uh, I have a big train transform I bought for testing lights and what have you years ago. I'll bring that out, and it should be strong enough to power up this temporarily. So at least do my checks. Uh, as to roofing the mausoleum and roofing this area, it ain't going to happen tonight. By the time I get done messing with the lights, it's going to be too dark to be messing with uh, plywood and stuff out here. So that will get moved to tomorrow and will be the first thing that we do out here tomorrow is roofing this and roofing the chain hall. But for tonight, we need to get these lights wired up and tested. And then I'll see what time it is. I think I'm going to have Morgan bring out the skins for the pirate area. And uh, we get the wiring done, the lights checked and working. I might get in here, I've got to do some bracing up along top of some of the walls, especially this little nook here, because it's very wobbly. And then uh, I think we'll start skinning this. I don't know if we'll get it done tonight, but we can do it after we do the roofing tomorrow. But uh, 
that's where we are at. Now I'm going to go and get dinner. We're having pancakes. And I'm going to be putting peanut butter on it with sausage, breakfast links, which is one of Katie's favorites. Almost called her sassy. That was our last dog. And she is kind of sassy as it is. Uh, and then eggs. So, this man just came out and asked me, well, how many eggs, how many pancakes? So I know dinner's about ready. So I'm going to go in and get dinner and then come back here out here and we'll do that wiring. It's happy hour. And we're going into the jungle, deep into the jungle, to grab a jungle bird. Dark or black strap rum, Campari, pineapple juice, lime juice, freshly squeezed. It's got to be freshly squeezed. Demirica syrup garnish with a pineapple wedge. Now, there was one in here that I spelled before. C-A-M-P-A-R-I. I have no idea what the hell that is or how to pronounce it. And then the other one, uh, Demira syrup. D-E-M-E-R-A-R-A. -R -R -A. I have no idea what that is. But we're looking for that rare and tropical jungle bird. Go find one. Okay, just going on 9 o'clock. Needless to say, I did not make it to the pirate. Spent most of the evening working on the photo op. And I'm just coming through to check. Now I've got some lights out here, but i got lights working down there. That means these have shorted out. This one isn't working at all. I think I need to fix it up there. And I've got another one. The connection isn't right up here, up top. Three, four, five, six. This panel's totally dead, and so is this one, and that one, that one. That means the connection with this panel up here is not working right, so that'd be seven. And again, I got lights working on the bottom, but the top two are not working. This whole row isn't working, so that's eight. Nine. And they, these aren't working, they're all tied into the other side, so I need to work on that connection up there. So I've got nine different connections I need to check before I can roof this, which will be tomorrow. I'm not staying out here any later, I'm getting rum dummy. Not a good idea to be working on these connections. That, my back's starting to throb. So uh, what I'm going to end up having to do is I'll leave the... Uh, transformer out here and uh, tomorrow I can turn it on and go through and just double check connections and stuff I've got about nine different connections out of oh, 38 39 so I have about 30 connections that are working and nine that aren't and I will do that tomorrow I'm calling it quits so stay tuned for your end of the day wrap up Kaylee and her babies. Huh? Where's Bum Bun? That's not Bum Bun, that's a leaf. There we go. There's her Bum Bun. <laughs> End of the day wrap up. Kaylee's being a clown. She wants attention. Uh, spent all day putting that mausoleum together and doing uh, getting the chain hall finished with its panels and its lights. The paneling is done. The mausoleum is done. The lights need some work, as you saw in the last segment. I got one wall, both sides of it totally dead. That means uh, there's one power line up there that does both sides of the walls that plugs into the main line. It means one of the connections isn't working on that main line. I need to get up, figure out which one it is, fix it, and that's, the wall should light up. I've got others that have a bad connection in it. 
here and there. Nine of them total. I have to get those fixed before I can go any further. My original intent for tomorrow was uh, to get out here, roof the mausoleum, roof the chain hall, and then finish up the pirate, depending if I even got to the pirate. And as you can see, there's no skin walls up, so I never made it to the pirate. I spent all my time working on those damn lights. Forgot how long it took to hook those up. <sighs> but uh, anyway, so first order of business for tomorrow is get the fix the lights that are in the chain hall or a chain hallway in the panels. Get those up and running. Then we'll hop directly over and uh, get the mausoleum roofed which will allow me to roof the chain hall, which is what all this was about today, was to get that roof on. I was supposed to do it yesterday, just like I was supposed to get to the pirate today, and I didn't get to it. Uh, but anyway, we're getting there. It's just kind of tedious. Uh, if we can get the lights working in the chain hall, get both the chain hall and the mausoleum roofed, then I can hop over into the pirate, get its bracing up, get its skin. Morgan brought the skins out for me for it. And then once that's done, we can start, keep going on building the maze. We're getting close to being done. I got the graveyard display, the witch, and the hallway going into the courtyard to uh, build yet. And the nice thing is doing the cemetery and the witch will also do the courtyard at the same time. Because one side is cemetery and witch, the other side is the hallway going into the courtyard. So I'm killing two birds with one stone on that. But, uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go get you edited. Uh, it's a little after 9 now, and I'd like to be in bed before 11, if possible. I think Katie would, too. She's getting tired. Huh? Are you getting tired? Hey, looks like she's looking right into the camera, doesn't it? She was? Stay spooky. Stay toxic.